Hey there, all you beautiful people. It's Esri, and welcome to Dax's Desk, a place where we come to connect and communicate about all things organization, planning, productivity, and of course, studying. So today's video is about how to actually plan your class or study timetable. So if you're a university student in Australia, most of you will be planning your timetables very soon before your second semester of the year. And if you're somewhere else in the world that has some different dates for semesters, this video will still be helpful to you. So a couple of my tips I'd like to start off with is to find when you actually study the best. Are you a morning person or do you prefer studying in the afternoon? If an 8am class doesn't seem right to you, especially due to uh, maybe traveling or basically you don't want to wake up that early and you want some time for yourself in the morning, of course, keep that in mind when you're scheduling classes. A note to point out here is that I recognize a lot of your lectures and practicals won't be um, sort of flexible, so they'll be at set times and you just have to work around that. Uh, for those set times, for me, I prefer to batch other classes and practicals and tutorials around my set times. So if I know that I have two lectures one day, um, one is at 9am and one is at 11am, you know, I'll probably slip something in at 10am if I can to fill that gap because I know that for me having a one hour gap is not that productive. I have to factor in travel time um, to a study space in order to study and then I have to factor in travel time to my next lecture. So I would rather just have um, three hour blocks back to back for that day. So another thing you need to take into account is whether you actually want to batch things or whether you want to spread it out. So for me, I'm a biomed student and that means I basically have four days a week, pretty much. I mean, some people do five and some people can try and squish it into three. They'll just watch some lectures at home, which is totally fine if that works for them. And you just need to find and really think about whether or not you like batching things. You know, if you're the type who can't sit still for a while or you think you might burn out by the end of the day, then of course don't do that, spread it out. But for me, my personal preference is to have at least one day a week uh, not at uni if I can. Sometimes it's not possible with these set times. But if I can, I usually want Wednesday or Thursday off and I kind of just have busy-ish days at uni and that's how I work. Um, also, as a note, I do prefer to work in the morning, so I do try and batch things in the early hours of the day rather than early afternoon or late afternoon because I know by then I will be ready to just sleep and not be productive. So another note is friends and tutors. If you know uh, beforehand what tutorials your friends can go into um, and are thinking of joining, then ask them and try and sync up your calendars. If you know beforehand who your tutors might be, then maybe pick a good one if you can. If you don't know that information, which at University of Melbourne we generally don't, then just pick a time with your friends that suits you. Uh, the last tip I have is travel. So a lot of people I've met who go to Unimelb actually live in whoop whoop somewhere and they have one hour, one and a half hour commutes to um, Melbourne Uni. Yeah. So for me, it's since, since I learned how to drive, it's about 45 minutes minimum and sometimes it can be 50 minutes so yeah so that's how long my commute is I prefer it to the bus which takes about an hour and 15 and um, yeah I have to keep that in mind if I'm traveling from my home you know I 
will try not to schedule an 8 a.m. if I can, although a lot of lectures are at 8 a.m. Um, this is purely because I would rather go later because traffic and it takes me so long to get there with traffic. And if I can just schedule it an hour or two later, there will be a lot less traffic and my time will be spent more efficiently studying at home or eating breakfast or doing my morning routine, that sort of thing. You may also be thinking about doing different subjects at different campuses. So I know that a lot of the music subjects at University of Melbourne are actually about a 15 minute tram ride at a different campus. So obviously if you're thinking about doing another subject in another campus, then you have to factor that into how your timetable is scheduled. Obviously don't schedule any back-to-backs. Give yourself the time to get there. So those are my tips for planning your timetable. Write out all of these ideas. Go onto your um, websites. I know that for all of the universities, colleges, the process will be different, but try and just get as much information as possible because it could really shape the feel of your semester. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.